That's how it works. Oh, yeah. Out of the water. Okay, let's get back to Koopa the Quick. I just want to get this over with. Okay, bye. Bummer. Okay, let's get up here. There we go. Alright, I'm just going to make sure you aren't in my way. And we will race. Run, 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 run. And I won! Woohoo! Got it! Only my fourth try, too. That wasn't too bad. No way! You beat me! Again! And I just spent my entire savings on these new Koopa, uh, Koopa Mach 1 sprint shoes. Here, I guess I have to hand over the star to the winner of the race. Congrats, Mario. Me. Alright. Uh, this will be our triple digit star, and in one of the later stars of this course, I'll show off his demise when we go there on the small side and kill him. <laughs> but until then, here's our star, number 100. Woohoo! Here we go! Alright, we did it. We only have 20 stars left in the game to get. Now for the next star, yeah, we're gonna want to start on the small side for the next one, I believe. Yeah, it's best. Uh, yep, five itty bitty secrets. Now, this is just like that one in Wet Dry World where we had to uh, get those five, uh, touch those five items, and uh, the, one of those orange numbers would appear, if you remember that, yeah. It's the same thing here, pretty much. It's basically the same thing. Uh, what you want to do to get easy access to the first one is backflip onto this box and jump. Double jump up here, uh, that place with the wrecking balls. All these places you can only touch when you're on the on the small side. That's basically how it works. And those micro goombas, they can be deadly. <laughs> and if you and if they touch you, they, they automatically die. But the thing is, if they, if they just die by touching you, then in that case you won't be able to uh, uh, get a co get a coin. Hold on, get back up here. Uh, yeah, this is where Koopa the Quick is. Yeah, like that. So then in that case, you won't get a coin. Now you can just punch him, and then he turns into a coin. Yeah, Koopa the Quick is dead, so we won't have to race him anymore. So I can only touch those things on the small side, like that, the place that spawns the Reichen Balls. Now be careful, like I said on the small side, this can be very tedious. I actually recommend the Yoda Mario Cam for this one. One of the only very few points where I would recommend the Mario Cam in place of the regular camera. Uh, one of them is up here in this hole. I'll show this off. This isn't necessary until a later star, but if you ground pound up here on the small side, all the water will will go into that hole. Just so you know. Uh, but that's not necessary until like the last star of this course. Now you can pretty much just jump down here. Ow! I went to the fire. We dance into the fire. The fatal kiss is always missed. Yeah, we don't kill. <laughs> oh, jeepers. Uh, that's secret number three over there. And uh, over here on this side of the hole is secret number four. And if you swim over here to this area with the cannon, that's secret number five. And the star is, oh yeah, back to the beginning. Oh, I remember this. Oh, wait. I guess what? Oh. 
Oh, I didn't know Goombas could do that. It ran into the water and then it killed itself by touching me. I didn't know they could swim. Here's what you want to do here. Talk to this bob -omb while you're on the small side. Because that's the seal in time where he appears, and then you can activate the cannon. I recommend to do it now, because I have a hard time with that uh, later on. <laughs> but more on that later. Anyway, um, I recommend to like jump back up here, actually. Yeah, where Coco Quick was. And get back over here with the uh, warp pipe. Gosh darn it. Uh, yeah. And then you drop down here. Yeah, this can be tricky camera-wise. And you run across these platforms over to this lone platform where the star is. And here's the star. I just wanted to be careful though, that's why I was going so slow. Alright. Next star. Next star. Um... I'm probably gonna want to start on the big side. On the big side, yeah. And I prefer the big side. I think everybody does. <laughs> it's much easier to navigate and platform on the small side. You wiggle his red coin. Say, oh, we do only 100 coin star. Now, this 100 coin star can be easy in some respects. Like I said, if you ground pound on these giant Goombas, you'll get a blue coin. That makes things so much easier already, you know? <laughs> yeah, um. So yeah, there are, so right off the bat, killing three Kumas, we already got 15 coins right off the bat. And remember back in Bob and Battlefield, I taught this way back, where if you, in the DS version, if you ground pound on these pegs, five coins will appear, but in this version, you need, in order for them to appear, you need to spin around them a few times. I don't, I don't really know why that's different, quite frankly, but whatever, that's how it works. Um, Let's see here, yeah, oh, I guess there's a, I could form there's another one, but, mm, whatever. Um, alright, let's go over here now. There's a lot of coins in this area right here. I wouldn't say a lot, there's like maybe 20, but you get the point. Black it to, once you jump and kill it, it will give you five coins. Now, I lost some of them, so, yeah. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, I got it before it disappeared. I am the master. Got these two coins from the Shigi. Uh, oh, that's one of those spiny things that it drops. Oh, now there's a Koopa over here. That gives you a blue coin when you kill it. I but first, I recommend to jump on it, and then it will lose its shell. Then I'll, be I'll finally be able to show off the shell in true form. And yeah, it will give you a nice, shiny blue coin. And of course, there are two coins up here, where if you touch both of them, a one-up will appear. Since you lost three lives with Koopa the Quick, I guess... Uh, yeah, that's that, that's needed, I guess. Uh, yeah, there's like... Yeah, so we already have a third of the coins, and we've already activated the kit. Oh, watch out for that enemy, that fish, that bubba. And it will eat and kill you in one shot, if it gets you. So, watch out for that. Okay, the cannon's activated, so I don't have to worry about that now. Oh. Fly guy! Okay, I... I killed it. <laughs> uh, alright, we got one coin. I was hoping to get the other one, but whatever. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Oh, I missed that one, but I got the other one. That makes no sense. Uh, alright. Whatever. Uh, giant Goomba, you! Over here. Come on, come on. I'm trying to attract it with my kissing. Okay. Uh, 40 coins. Not too shabby. Alright. Uh, over here. We can take care of these giant Goombas if they will be willing to give us their attention. Oh, uh, there's one over here. Go! Go! I don't know what that was, but whatever. Uh, it works. <laughs> Uh, are these coins worth it, though? Not that I remember. Well, it's on the big side instead, so I guess it'll be okay. Because I remember that all, all that's in that box is a one-up, so... I guess I'll just get these five coins, and then scoot back. I... yeah. Okay, I just want to be careful. Because this 100 coin star can be... it's easy, especially with the 
goom with the big goomba skin blue coins and everything, but if you die, it can be pretty tedious, if I remember. But it seems to be going okay so far, but I'm not gonna jinx it. I'm not gonna jinx it. No. Yeah, and then the win, run across the platform, yeah, yeah, death, not, um, five coins right here, not bad. Uh, okay, I didn't get hit in the face with the wrecking ball, that's always nice when I don't get hit in the face by a wrecking ball, because that would hurt, uh, really hurt in real life. Um, uh, I yeah, could the click is only here. In big, in, in big form, he's only here when you activate that star. That's why the goal point's only there when you're doing that star. Yeah! Die. Alright. Um, let's see. Where's the one up? Okay, thanks. Um, thanks, bruh. Uh, Alright. I'll get the coins, the coins up here, and then I'm going to go back to where the cannon is, and then I'll need that for something. It will bring me to where the eight red coins are. They're actually in a specific area of the level, and it's a uh, hidden level, kind of like the igloo in Snowman's Land, or the town in Wet Dry World, or, yeah, those are pretty much the only two examples that come up with. Now this Chukya, again, useful for coins, like it always is, you know, but again, it can be tedious. I'll wait until it comes for me again, and then I'll go in for the attack and throw it against the wall so I can get its coins. Uh, alright, and... Skidoosh. Alright, uh, there are... There are no coins at the top of the mountain, but, yeah, in big form, it, this place is not that daunting, but whatever. So now I'll just need a few red coins over there in order to finish the start. Well, maybe not. I don't think of it. Maybe I won't. But I want to come over here, and then, well, jump off, I guess. No, I don't want to come back here. I want to... Okay, whatever. Let's, let's go to the cannon, because now I'll show you how we can get to the right coins now. Ah, uh, yeah, but that area can be tedious inside, and I don't want to die this close to them. But whatever, whatever, just whatever. I'll, um, do my best. Um.